The last few days, I've been seeing less and less on my social media timelines about the protests, despite them still going strong here in the States and across the world to show support. And that's not all that surprising because no matter how important something is, if you're focusing on it intensely for weeks on end, it will take a toll on you emotionally and mentally. And when that happens, people will start to look for the things that bring them comfort, the things that they can escape to. And while balance is important, I want everyone to be healthy, remember that there are people that can't escape this. We are living through history right now, and what we do in this moment matters. The choices we make right now will impact the future for not only us, but the people that come after us. Black lives matter and systemic change is possible if we all continue to show up and support that cause. Now, I'm not the person to talk about this in detail about every single aspect, so I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of links down in the info below for people that are the people you should be listening to for the detailed information, for the firsthand experiences, and all of that to give you the best understanding possible. Please check out those links, get as much information as you can so you can understand everything that's going on because it can be overwhelming, but it is important. And to those of you who may ask why I'm getting political on this channel, personally, I don't believe human rights should be a politically debated topic. Their human rights should be across the board. We should all want to be treated equally. We should want others to be treated equally. No one should have to live in fear of just existing. It can be difficult to learn how much privilege has an impact on lives from those who have it to those who don't. What's important is what you do after that. Do you shut down? Do you block it out? Do you disregard it? Or do you take it and do you learn from it and grow from it to be a better person and better help others? What we've seen these past couple weeks during the protests of George Floyd's murder is just the tip of the iceberg. We've seen the names of those who have lost their lives to police brutality, but we haven't seen the countless individuals that are harassed on a regular basis that we, that I, will never be able to understand because I've never experienced it. Having that understanding and, and listening and being willing to see a different point of view is so important. So please, remember that while it is important to recharge, this is a marathon and not a sprint. Change doesn't happen quickly. It's something we need to continue to push and press for and fight for. But we can be a force for good. So let's do it.